Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for blues power? Please welcome to the stage the Albert King Blues Band.
hands together and give a nice warm welcome to Mr. Albert King.
They don't quite understand it. Ah. What they know is real blues. They call the skies crying.
Feels rolling down my nose. 
with me. A long time friend, both of these people I'm talking about. Funny guy, Junior Wells. Let's give him a good one. I've been through hell and high water. And when I say hard hitting, I ain't lying to you. Come here, baby. Come here, kid. My sweetheart. That's the wall horse of the women singing. And tomorrow, the other wall horse will be here, Miss Eva James. Now, when I tell you these two women step on, they get on down with it, like I like it. I ain't danced in 30 years. When they get on the stage, I get up there and shake a leg, you know. Hey, listen up. Now, you hear this too? Ooh, shit. I put this little thing together on my way home from Dallas, Texas. I've been out that gig, and then the gigs that got bad. I said, but well, that's all right. I'm going home to my main squeeze. <laughs> I got out on that long, lonesome road. I had to hitchhike. Anybody know anything about hitchhiking out here? Sometimes, sometimes hitchhiking at night, it gets so dark. Come on, little girl, don't lose it. It gets so dark, you can't see your hands before your eyes, and you hear all sorts of noises on the side of the road to try to scare you or frighten you or whatever you want to say. I said, well, that's all right. I'm going home to my main street. <laughs> I got way over there in the valley, and a truck driver come up. Came along one of them big eight wheels, you know. He saw my farm up in there. He said, he pulled a big truck over. He said, where you going, son? I said, I'm going home to my main street. <laughs> Pick it up, and get too close. Clam in on the right bank. I got in over there, kind of tired from a long walk. I said, I'm going to give me a little shit out. And before I dozed off, I heard on the CB radio, break one nine. The guy way back there said, go ahead, break. He said, you got the bumper jump up here in the front door. He said, ten four, you got the fender bender bringing up the rear. He said, I hear popping over there. He said, 10 I keep the front door open if you keep the back door closed. <laughs> he said, 44. So we're going to this TK town, and we're going to pull off and get a cup of that far away coffee with some cream in it. He said, I'll be right behind you. When I get to the exit, this big old truck waking me up with them big air brakes, you know. I raised up and looked around. While they was going in to get the coffee, I searched myself and found the dime. I'm gonna call a collect all the way cross country. I placed the call. Operator put the call in. Little old soft voice came on. Hello. That's the girl out there. That's my baby. <laughs> Operator said, would you accept a collect call from Albert King out there in Texas somewhere? She said, yes. I got back with a big voice. I wanted to impress her, you know. I said, hello. She said, hello. I said, this is me and I'm coming home. And then she said, I said, what did you say? 
Ahoy, ahoy. She said, I'll be waiting. I said, well, I'll be there no soon. There's no bus run. What no bus is down cattle truck. <laughs> sure enough, about 8 o'clock, we roll in. I got my bags and made it on down to the pad. And we didn't have no doorbell. I had to knock on the door. Put a little thing. A pretty little thing came to the door, built up like a Coca-Cola bottle bottom up. I ain't lying. And she had on one of them real short, thin things that women sleep in. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Huh, what? You're right, son. A negative J. That's what it was. She said, come on in. Do you want your breakfast? I don't see what's so funny to y'all. She was talking about cooked food. Y'all can come on up and get your minds out of the gutter. She said, do you want your breakfast? Do you want to lie down? I said, I believe you want to lie down, honey. <laughs> we lied down for about three hours. And she got up and went in the bathroom and come out and went in the kitchen and started cooking some country ham. You smell five blocks down the street. And started making some cat heads. I bet don't nobody know what that is. Huh? Where are you from? Huh? You must be from Mississippi. You're right. That's what it was, biscuits. That's the business so damn good to call them catheads. <laughs> and while she was doing that, I hit this thing.
skin to crawl If it wasn't for bad luck
to all of the blues lovers out here tonight. Do we have any blues lovers out here? If you don't dig the blues, you got a hole in your soul. Are you listening? Where I fell in love at. I fell in love with a woman standing in the full step line. She was standing in the food stamp line She wasn't so good looking I'm gonna tell you That the girl was fine Ago, a dirty rascal. Yeah, she saw a man left her. He left her ten long weeks ago. He left her with two little pretty baby girls. One was three, and one was four. Cold-hearted man.
Thank you very much. We got to get out of the way. We sincerely hope you've enjoyed as much as we've have enjoyed playing for you. If you have so, let's get a band and make our fun. You see, I'm kind of lonely too. Loneliness is a very bad thing, and loneliness can get you down. Are you comfortable? I said, loneliness is a very bad thing, and I have heard of loneliness blowing some very fine people's minds, but you can't do that. This is a big, big world. There's a lot of beautiful things going on. You just got to hang in that beat up. You feel pretty good. Where you live? No, no. Disregard that. The most important thing, I want to know you. I said, I want to know you.